Hello YouTube, it's me Vicky. Hi, how are you guys? Today is Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday. My Wednesday's going great. I just wanted to come on today and just say I'm sorry. As you can see my title, I apologize in tragic situations. And I want to talk about this really quick. I don't want to make this video too long, so let me get right to it. The reason why I want to apologize is because yesterday I posted a video, uploaded a video, and I was talking about uh, story time, my husband passed away. Now, I wasn't specific when I posted that because I should have said, story time, my late husband passed away or said how my late husband passed away. I have to be more specific, but instead I put my husband passed away. So people who know that I am married, it made y'all feel like something was happened, something happened to my current husband. And I apologize about that because I should have been, you know, more specific with my title because my title was misleading because I did not, it was not about my current husband. It was about my late husband and this happened years ago. So I should have been more specific in that way. And I totally could understand where you guys is coming from because it had it been me. And I saw one of you guys post something like that. I would have been like, you know, oh my God, my <gasps> husband passed away. I would have felt some type of way too. And you know, even in the video, I did mention that I'm talking about my late husband, not my current husband, but still it's just the, just the principle of the, title saying that it just will make somebody feel like whoa what the heck so i apologize and i'm sorry about that now in the video for those of you who did not see the video i was basically talking about how my late husband passed away i wanted to share that story because i've seen quite a few stories here on youtube people have story time and they share their stories and i have to say i have to applaud Bravo, bravo to you guys that you could do that because it's so hard to be able to go back and relive something tragic that happened in your life. But to share that story, I think it's fabulous that you could do that. Unfortunately, for me, when I made the video today, it brought me back to a memory that was devastating. It had me emotional, had me feeling depressed. I was so sad yesterday because after I did the video, I was drained because it brought me back to that time it felt like it literally happened the day before you know and I I don't know why I would do something like that to myself because I don't really talk about that you know when that happened with my late husband when he was murdered I don't talk about it because it's not something that I want to remember and I don't know what made me want to make a video like that to share. I guess because I've been watching quite a few story time videos and I figured everybody else is doing it. And that's the thing. People need to stop being a copycat like myself. I'm being a copycat trying to copy what everybody else is doing. And it turns around and it bites me in my butt because I'm the one that's emotional now. I'm feeling some type of way because of the video that I made and it made me emotional. It made me depressed. You know what I'm saying? So certain videos... I don't think I'm going to share on my channel when it comes to tragic because it's not good for me. I've been through hell and back, just like a lot of you guys have as well. And some things you just keep to yourself. It's my personal stuff and I just should have kept it to myself. However, for those of you who did watch the video, I still have the video. It's on private. I don't have a problem sharing it, but I have a problem with how it affects me after the fact. That's the problem. I didn't know that something that happened so long ago could affect me till this day, okay? And in that video, I was emotional, okay? It had me crying, okay? And I made the video eight years ago on my Victoria042 channel. I shared it back then as well. And in that video, I cried again. I was emotional. It drained me. So the moral of what I'm trying to say here is sometimes things that has gone, has happened in your life that's tragic. It's hard to really talk about it because it will always affect you. Certain things you can't forget. And a situation like that that happened with my late husband being murdered the way that he did get murdered, I could never forget it. it will, I will always remember that. But I moved on from that. I have a new husband. I have a new life. I have a family. So it's not there anymore i'm over here now but at the end of the day i brought that negative depressing thing right back into my life yesterday and it devastated me again but i'm okay today i prayed on it and let me tell you something god does not put you in situations that you cannot handle 
sometimes when it's easier said than done, I understand that because, you know, when, when the situation happened to me with my husband being taken away from me, my late husband being taken away from me, I was mad. I was mad at God. I was angry. Why me? Why does this happen to me? How come I'm married? How come this person could be their husband and wife for 10, 15 years? And why did my husband get snatched away from me like that? Why? That's the question I always used to ask God. But I prayed. I healed myself. Actually, God healed me because I, without God in your life, there's no other, there's no way other way that you can make it. So the, so basically, you need God. You need something to help you to move on, and you will. Whatever tragic situation that you're ha happening in your life that's happened in the past, happening now happens in the future you will be okay just know that you will be fine it's it's easier said than done i know but i've been through different types of things i've lost my mother my grandmother my friends two of them my husband my late husband so i've lost a couple of people i've even lost my pets okay my my favorite cat my dogs you know you go through so much things but those the pain is still the same Regardless of how the death was, the pain is still the same. So, but at the end of the day, I've accepted death and I know that, you know, there's a better place. These people are in better places and I will see them again. This is how I feel. I believe that. I believe in God. I believe that there's an afterlife. I believe in these things and that's what's keeping me, you know, going and that's what keeps me strong but if that's what's going to keep me from being devastated and depressed forever and i could think that way that's what i'm going to do i'm not going to keep thinking of the situation i have to move on and you will it's it's human nature it's life we have to go through these things for a reason there's a reason for everything there's a reason why we got to go through these things just relax Pray on it and everything gonna be okay. Okay, so anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> uh, I better go and I'll see you guys soon. Later. Bye bye.